you want to get fast, go out and train more. I guarantee you that'll be of bigger benefit than buying the latest and greatest bike. As the title says, it's not all doom and gloom. So I don't know if that's an Aussie term, but what it means is bikes are expensive, but there are good deals to be had. Now a video I did a few back saying prices of bikes are out of hand is true to an extent. Like anything, if you look around, there's always bargains to be had. So what I've done is I've selected a whole heap of bikes that are really good deals, I believe. The other thing I wanna talk about quickly is I said how I feel it's the manufacturers where the high prices are coming from, yet you hear all the manufacturers are going broke. Trek, particularly, and Scott's the latest one I've heard, are in financial trouble. Giant, I don't think, are in trouble, but I believe their profit's down. But, you know, what does their profit down actually mean? Instead of making 10 billion profit, they only made seven. So, you know, not as big a deal. But Trek and Scott, particularly, both their bikes at the higher end are very expensive, yet financially, they're in strife. What does that mean? I'm not really sure. This video is more about let's look for some well-priced bikes. So let's get into that. So the first one I found here actually is a BMC. For those who don't know, BMC, boringly, stands for Bicycle Manufacturing Company. So there you go. I found one here, which is an aluminium frame with SRAM rival wireless gearing. And you can get this bike on special at the moment for $3,388. It's an aluminium frame. BMC make a beautiful bike. My wife has a BMC time trial bike. So 3388 with wireless gearing on a beautiful aluminium frame, I mean, that's a bargain. So I'm going from the most expensive down to the least expensive of affordable bikes. So the next one I found here is a Specialized. Now it's the LA Sport. Now the LA Sport is their aluminium range. And this bike has got Tiagra. So Tiagra is 10 speed, Shimano Tiagra, and it's still hydraulic disc brakes. And you can get this bike for 2,500 bucks. So I think that's a good buy. I actually had an LA Sprint, one of the best bikes I've ever owned. There's nothing wrong with Shimano Tiagra. I'd happily ride it tomorrow. I almost feel it's like the new working man's group set. It used to be 105, but I feel it's come down to Tiagra. But it's hydraulic disc brakes, 2,500 bucks. Next one, Cannondale. So this is a CAD 13, which is their latest version of their CAD aluminium frames. Cannondale are renowned for their aluminium frames. In fact, they used to make and probably still make one of the best aluminium frames out there. This bike again's got Tiagra on it. And this bike is 22 dollars so 2300 bucks. Now I'm a huge Cannondale fan. I had some of their earlier CAD frames. I don't know much about the CAD 13. Maybe some of you have experiences with it. Let me know if you have. But I love it, I think it's a great bike. But as I said, 2,300 bucks, a brand new Cannondale. Moving along now, this is of course AliExpress. You can't do this video without an AliExpress inclusion. So this bike actually carbon fibre and it's a Sava, S-A-V-A. -A. I think I've heard of that, $2,384. But I think it might be Shimano 105 on this one. I think it's 11 speed Shimano 105. So of course 105 Shimano is now 12 speed. So it's a previous version. 2384. Now AliExpress, you know, you've got to order it online. It gets delivered to your door. Look at that bike. It looks pretty sweet to me. I'd give it a crack. Merida. Now Merida aggressively are sold here in Australia through a chain of bike shops. Merida's a great brand. I feel that maybe because of the way they're sold in Australia, the reputation of the brand has, has been brought down a little bit. I had a Merida cross-country mountain bike for years, loved it. I can't fault the product, but this particular one at the moment, again, aluminium frame Shimano Tiagra for $19.99. Two grand, brand new bike. So again, look out there, there's plenty of good bikes to be seen. Now this next one isn't an Avanti. If you're not from Australia, Avanti is a New Zealand, a Kiwi brand. Quite big here in Australia. This one's actually a gravel bike, but I was in one of my bike shops today that I call on. I was thinking, look at this bike. It was two and a half grand down to two grand. It's got Shimano GRX on it, so the gravel group set, and obviously it's got gravel tires, but as I've done with my gravel bike, put a set of slicks on it, you got your road bike. So even go around all your bike shops, there's really good bargains to be had. So I thought that was a good one. Okay, and the last one, this is on Marketplace, and it's second hand, it's a 2022 Polygon. Now Polygon are a direct to consumer brand in Australia, so you buy it direct off the website. I think they're Indonesian as a company. 
I don't really hear anything bad about them. This particular bike is a carbon frame and it's got 105.11 speed on it, second hand, 2022, so it's only just over a year old, for 1700 bucks. Looks tidy to me, looks like a nice bike. The point is, sure, bikes are crazy expensive, but if you look out there, look around, go online, go into your local bike shops, there's bargains to be had. Now, not everyone needs electronic gears, not everyone needs the latest, greatest carbon frame and carbon wheels. You're gonna go just as quick on an alloy frame with Tiago or 105, that's the truth. You wanna get fast, go out and train more. I guarantee you that'll be of bigger benefit than buying the latest and greatest bike. Anyway, as I said, it's not all doom and gloom, bargains to be had. If you want to shout us a coffee, link below. Thanks for watching.